Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so I'm going to be covering what is currently going on across the Caribbean, of course. And we're going to be looking a bit into the future to see what is expected. Of course, from the thumbnail, you would have seen where a major rainfall event is being forecasted. And so we're going to be taking a look at all of that briefly. And so before I go into details... Please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so let's go ahead and kickstart things. We're turning to this infrared satellite imagery and we can see here that there is quite some activity still in the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago and also into other sections of the Windward Islands and even Barbados. So uh, Grenada the Grenadines, even St. Vincent. So it's likely that those areas have felt or are feeling the effects of that little cluster within that region. And so as we head into the early part of the new week, it is likely going to gradually diminish. But as for the rest of the region, we can see here that we've got most of the activity moving, of course, from the east. We see some of those cloud clusters in the vicinity of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Hispaniola, and even that little cluster there uh, to the east of Jamaica so there isn't much and as we head more toward the northwestern Caribbean looking over at the Yucatan Belize uh, and other parts of Central America we can see that there isn't much at all so it's likely that you guys have woken up to some very nice sunny skies but again as for you guys down in the southeast Caribbean in the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago it's likely that you have been experiencing some overcast weather with even some rainfall but as I said this is going to gradually diminish as we progress into the early part of the new week and so as we head into the latter part of next week uh, I've been watching the models very consistently and uh, especially the euro has been expecting a major rainfall event to take place a low pressure area moving into the vicinity of the northeastern Caribbean and eventually uh, resulting in quite a bit of rainfall activity so I'm going to be showing you guys the total accumulated precipitation and so here we have it for the euro and of course as we head up this scale in the colors that indicates more rainfall in inches and this is what is expected between now and next Saturday so a week so roughly a week from this point and we can see that quite a bit of rainfall is anticipated uh, within the vicinity of the northeastern Caribbean, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Leeward Islands. So of course there can be many changes between now and then but the model has been consistent about it. Likewise for GFS recently we're seeing here that the model is also showing that there is going to be quite a bit of rainfall activity within this area and so it was even potentially hinting at pre-season development and it is certainly not impossible for us to see development because pre-season development is a thing however only time will tell so uh, of course tomorrow I'm going to be going into this in a little bit more depth and showing you guys uh, what the possibilities are what is likely to happen but it is important to know that forecasts tend to change and so uh, that increased rainfall activity could begin by about Thursday thereabout and uh, uh, so there is definitely some time between now and then to see what is likely to take place guys and so this is a bit reminiscent of 2017 in a sense because uh, if my memory is serving me correctly I believe Arlene developed on April 19th back in 2017 so to have another April storm when that same list is being used again with the replacement names, of course, uh, that would be very interesting. So let's see what's going to be happening. And of course, and forecasts tend to change, especially when we're talking about the long term. So of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated. And tomorrow, we're going to be zooming in on this and seeing what the possibilities are. And so I will be keeping you updated as necessary. And so that is pretty much it for right now, guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise